Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In yesterday's video, I mentioned I wanted to see EA turn up the hype of Evo content in FC24. What I did not expect is for them to do it the next day and drop the most broken Evo of Team of the Season. Guys, the cards this evolution is creating is beyond wild. It is better than the cards, once again, that are in packs for Team of the Season and it's pretty easy to do. So we have to talk about that because these cards are breaking the game. And we had great content in SBCs yesterday as well. But it's being overshadowed by that Evo hype. And the real question is, what's going to happen today if we had all this content, including some upgrade packs yesterday and Cristiano Ronaldo team of the season impacts? What is going to happen today on a Monday in FC24? If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, while we get into things, we'll start with the SBCs and the two-player SBCs that we had yesterday. First, starting off with the team of the season, Palacios, which actually, to be fair, is a really great card. He is 88 and above in every single stat category with pinged pass, long ball pass plus, and slide tackle plus. He's also got all the other defending play styles except for jockey. He's got Tiki Taka and he has relentless. This is a great card. And it's like this close to being nine golden gang or referred to as all 90s and above stats. He's 88 and above. If you put him into the evolution, some stats do go to 90 and other ones go to 89 because he does fit that tots upgrade Evo 4-4 medium high and coming in at a very easy craftable price of 270,000 coins. If you're looking for Bundesliga cards to help fill out chemistry or just to link to maybe a Bundesliga Tots card that you want to try, this is the SBC to do. I think the price is the best part here. For the quality of the card you're getting, like it's almost 90s gang for 270,000 coins. This is a great SBC. I've heard many people say they've used earlier versions or evolved versions of him earlier this year too. And some of the in-game stats really make him look like an insane card. So not the most meta card, but honestly, sneaky good. This one might be so i'm kind of excited to try him out if we pack some more bundesliga tots cards later on in the week i think that sbc is great value and i think it's worth crafting at this time um, if you're running bundesliga cards now we had an icon sbc as well yesterday continuing the trend of like icon and hero sbcs we have Raul, Raul Foot Birthday, 5-star, five 5-star, five Finesse Plus, Technical Plus. This card was a beast when he first dropped. He is still very, very good. And I think the fact that it was a surprise and it wasn't really leaked that much makes this SBC a little bit better value when you compare his price via SBC compared to the market, right? This card right now is 700,000 coins. Yesterday before the SBC, he was 890, 900,000 coins. The SBC is coming in only at 680. 80k it's 10 squads it's also pretty easy to do so if you want raul i mean you know only two play style pluses very meta ones at that but if you want raul i think this is a great value sbc to craft this card and get him done and put him into your ultimate team squad but it's kind of again similar to the philip lam that we had it's if you want this card he i wouldn't say he's behind the curve just because he only has two play style pluses he is five star five star with 98 finishing finesse plus and technical plus this card is very very good so if you want to craft that go ahead and do so um i think that's a great value sbc for the price that he was on the market coming in less than that and with the menus being as craftable as they are i think that's a great value sbc definitely turning upwards in terms of the sbc content from where we were over the weekend or at least on saturday sunday yesterday was great for that now upgrade packs that we had yesterday as well guys we got the premium upgrades yesterday on sunday like these were the upgrades last week on monday that we were very angry about because they did not drop on monday when we thought they were going to and then ea goes ahead and drops it this week on sunday a day early basically giving us that day extra day to craft these now i know it's also kind of like man imagine if we would have had these last week on sunday how much crazier the last week would have been of Premier League team of the season. But the fact that we have these is nice because once again, we have the ability to be crafting through the menus, getting rare golds, putting them into this premium Bundesliga and women's Bundesliga upgrade, and then crafting out of that into the 81 plus player pick, 83 plus team of the weeks and exchanges guys. Now I have only uh, opened a couple of these. I happen to, haven't opened very many. Um, so we'll see how the weight is on these as we open them throughout the week but that is the menu grind that is the 
crafting grind right there. Get rares, put them into this. Non rares go into the 81 plus player pick or probably the 80 plus that refreshes and uh, replaces this today. And then, uh, you know, 82s, 3s, 4s, and 5s go into the 83 plus pick or into whatever SBCs you're crafting. And if you're not doing any player SBCs, Go ahead and fire up the exchanges, man. I mean, I'm going to be honest, guys. It is still worth, even if you're like, Nate, the Bundesliga for me doesn't do it, right? It is still worth doing a little bit of menu grind this week because at the very end of last week, I was not doing any player SBCs. Um, I was just doing exchanges, trying to pack the blues and hit the premiums and the 81 plus picks. My club was getting stocked up on so much fodder and also so many team of the weeks from doing this team league pick and just kind of grinding this menu um, method over and over and over, especially with the exchanges. It was like so easy to just stock my club and also stock up a bunch of exchange packs. I think even if you're waiting to open for League One or La Liga, that will be a very good menu grind this week. It is worth putting some time into that grind because honestly, guys, this pack grind is crazy. Here's some of the exchange packs that I have left over. I'll open one Bundesliga upgrade now. Yeah, I'm not expecting a blue there but um yeah that was kind of what was going on yesterday with the upgrades and such i think it is a very 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 good time to be crafting on this game i'm gonna quick sell that because i'm about to point out another upgrade pack that i was opening yesterday uh it was the 83 times seven and that came out um again we were hoping this was going to be an 84.5 ea changed the pack code as we looked at in yesterday's video from an 83.7 to an 84.5 it only refreshes every two days this pack is mid i mean i packed sun from the premier league one last week it's worth doing but it is mid and my goodness the 86 doubles are also so mid now they're, they're bad okay the 86 doubles for me have been absolutely terrible i will do them every single day because there's team of the season harry kane and others that are in packs to craft and to try to hit i guess but uh man they have been absolutely shocking now you may see my coins are a bit down i did open a 725,000 coin pack yesterday since we're on the topic here of packs i opened one of the big store packs guys the untradeable one and uh i did pack two no i didn't pack any good team this season i packed ta i packed colbell for the second time and uh i packed a couple other tots cards that were fodder but that was it like it's a three player guaranteed tots pack and it's just like the 750 case in the premier league last week um it is pain so i'm not opening the tradable one uh, i'm gonna keep just crafting through put my tradable coins into the upgrade packs and doing that menu grind but uh man if it's gonna be i'm gonna open another one of these 725s maybe today on stream it did allow me to complete the zambrata sbc literally in 15 minutes after i opened this pack used the fodder in my club i got the zambrata sbc done so i'm excited to try him out but um, yeah, that pack was shocking. I am going to open one more probably today with coins again, as always, um, not with FC points, with coins so that I can try to pack Harry Kane, give myself at least a chance for that or one of the big team of the season cards that are now in packs. One last SBC to cover yesterday was the 88 plus Encore Hero pick, which is actually worth interesting, uh, worth mentioning because it includes Golasso heroes for the first time. They're actually in a player pick. I still think though, Hero player picks 88 plus, no thanks. I mean, I haven't done a hero or an icon pick in a hot minute, and I don't plan to start here, but still an L for me. Craftable if you want to give it a chance. Now, let's talk about the big content, right? That a lot of people are going crazy about. You maybe have seen some pictures on Twitter of some disgusting looking team of the season cards, like in terms of disgusting stats. Look at this upgrade. This Team of the Week Van Zier card is one that a lot of people that want to do MLS links are looking for. The Tots Attacker Plus Evo, guys. It is absolutely insane for multiple different reasons. First thing is, it gives the Tots Plus uh, chemistry design, right? You see right there, that is an MLS Van Zier that's going to get Tots Plus um, chemistry. So he's going to be on two chem points automatically when he goes into a squad. All you need is a manager, one player from the same league. Boom, you're on full chemistry for that singular player item. The boost that you get here is absolutely insane. You get plus five pace, nine shooting, I think it's six passing, eight dribbling, one defense, and uh, six physical. And it's not that hard to do. You do have to just play a couple of matches. I think there might be some rivals. Uh, no, it's all squad battles. Wow, it is all squad battles with this evolution as well. I mean, the downsides of this are that it's 100,000 coins and the playstyle pluses aren't the most elite. You get Trivella plus, and you get power header plus but the stats on what is allowed in this 
is creating absolutely nuts cards. Now, when I look at my club, there's not a lot of players besides like, okay, here's the Rashford, right? I have a Rashford in my club. It's untradeable. I don't think I'm going to do Rashford, but like, look at this. A team of the season plus Rashford with power shot, Trivella power header with 95 pace, 95 shooting. That is absolutely insane. And I don't have too many other things in my club right now that I think I'm just going to Evo straight away. I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging, maybe a little you know, double Evo combination sort of situation with something here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to land on, but guys, this is an evolution you cannot skip, okay? Let me show you some of the nuts cards that are flying around. The Rashford, of course, right? I'm sure you saw this one. This is the one that everybody's trying to get their hands on, especially if you didn't do the Moment of Truth Evo that dropped last week. That evolution plus this one is creating some of the most broken cards I've seen on this game. Goncalo Guedes. 98 pace, 97 shooting, 96 dribbling, and 5-star, five 5-star. Five what an absolute crazy card. Now, good luck packing this guy. You're going to only be able to get him from, like, random packs because he wouldn't even be an 80-plus player picks, right? He's a 79-rated card. But that card looks disgusting, right? Maybe it's Romarino. If you can't get Guedes, pick up this Romarino card. I mean, he's still 700, or he was, 700 coins in the market. Footbin has been down for hours talk about that in a second but this card is even better than Gwedic almost in my opinion even though his stats are less he's high medium work rates five star five star more passion right medium medium I'm not a huge fan of and I love his play styles yeah he has Tiki Taka rapid finesse uh insane insane card there and then if you were lucky enough to have an inform or a special card in the club this Somerville goes 99 pace 97 dribbling Al Oweyrin with the Tots plus chemistry, um, I don't understand. I guess the 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 real Alloway run here at the end would only be five star, four star because Tricky Ricardo is no longer available. But a five star, four star Alloway run with 99 pace, 94 dribbling. Um, I mean, that is like better. Almost, that is definitely better. That is absolutely better than his SBC that came out a couple of weeks ago. It just has different playstyle pluses um, than this one, right? This one has Rapid and Finesse. This one has Dead Ball, Trivella, and Power Header. And he still has some of the other. Like He's got Rapid on his regular playstyle instead of a playstyle plus. That card looks insane. Um, who else looks insane? Guys, it, we could go on for ages and look at absolutely incredible cards that this evo creates look at this malin 97 pace 93 shooting and 96 dribbling with five star skills do those 83 plus team of the league player picks just in case you pack one of these insane cards as well you can put them into the evo and have literally an end game card right so this evo is like astounding this is the type of evo content that goes crazy that we were wanting because it creates some of the most broken cards in this game and guys if i were to sit here and say that i've seen all the possibilities i'd be lying there are so many combinations that you can do with this as well go inside of here search up names if you have isak winter wild cards five star five star isak with 91 pace 94 shooting like a player that would actually use the power header play style plus very good because he's tall this would be an amazing card. 98 dribbling. Like, this is nuts. This is crazy. So, combinations with that moment of truth Evo work really well for this as well as combinations in some of the, like, attacking midfielder Evos. Like, one thing I'm going to try to do here is maybe try to put somebody into this attacking mid connection, since I don't know who to put into it, and then also put them into the Tots attacker plus, right? So, that is one thing you can do, or you can hold out to try to pack an inform from some sort of player pick to get you a really cracked looking card i mean guys this is an insane evo and yeah i know it's 100k but trading up to 100k is not that difficult if you really think about it so if you want to put that effort in if you need 100,000 coins just do a little bit of trading on the market we'll talk about during this video too some things you can do to trade on this current market but that is a must do evo guys and it is insane the cards that you can get from that one that was the craziest thing of content yesterday it is going mad. Now let's talk about impacts cards once again and venture back to the mixed league of team of the season, team number two, where we have a Tots Christian Ronaldo who is not on the market. He is extinct at 11.4 or 11.5 million coins. And uh, we have some very other interesting cards though. Look at this Fred. Fred with Anticipate Plus, Jockey Plus, and Technical. Balotelli is very cheap. He's like 200,000 coins, 220K. But this card looks cracked. Five star, four star, high, low, good stats, 96 shot power, 99 strength, aggression, uh, and heading accuracy. With uh, He's got 
what does he have? Does he have aerial? He has aerial and he has power header, but not plus in those. This card looks like so much fun. This Mares card didn't get 5-5. Five, five. He's 5-4, five, but he's Tots plus. I think that this mixed team two of team of the season might be clear of team one. It's close. It's close. Veerman looks pretty cracked. Vertonghen might be a cheap beast. Uh, of course, Acosta for the MLS squads looks really, really good as well. And then you have that top tier like Balotelli, Fred, Ronaldo, and Mares that are, you could pack as well. Really, really nice second team here. Um, guys, I will say, again, you look at these prices like, dude, this is not a 1.3 million card. This price updating situation on Footbin has been a problem. Um, I've been using foot.gg for the last little bit of time because their prices are actually updating. I'm totally not used to this website and how it looks. Um, but currently they have prices. I don't know what happened to Footbin, but literally everything on Footbin is not calculating in terms of the uh, prices at the moment. So that is an issue that I'm having. So maybe, I'm sure you guys are as well. That might mess up the market a little bit today and might confuse some people with prices unless that gets going and updated very fast. So be careful with uh, with that and using Footbin. Double check, check the prices of your cards on the market. Um, like this Grimaldo, I, I bought a Grimaldo just a little bit ago for 1.58. And I think right now he's like 1.7. I think it was like an undercut on Footbin or something that happened. Um, and obviously he's a lot more than that. So I bought a Grimaldo because of that. I also picked up some Freds at 440, thinking that people are definitely gonna want, going to want to try him out today on a Monday. I believe it's a bank holiday in uh, at least somewhere in, in Europe, in the UK. Um, and so there may be more people playing the game today, trying some cards out. So I picked up a couple of Freds right around 430 and 440 to try to flip today, hopefully for a higher price, as he will be one of the most popular cards People will be running to trial today. Let's talk market though. With all of that content yesterday, right? People spending 100,000 coins on that Evo. SBCs, packs, draining coins. What is happening on this market? Let's actually start with fodder for a quick second. I know fodder prices are, you know, not calculating as well at the moment. But I believe, let's just double check. Wendy Renard right there showed for 11,000 coins. I believe fodder was relatively unchanged. Um, maybe down just a little bit. Um, but yeah, fodder really hasn't been moving that much. How much is Renard? She is, yeah, so they're down just a little. Like Footpin so is 11,250. Renard is like 11,000 coins. Um, I do believe 85s were going up yesterday. Um, once again, because people are doing the SBCs, like the 86 double, even though it is shocking, people are doing that every single day to try to pack team of the season cards. Yeah, 4.6, 4.7 for 85s. They continue to slowly rise up. Um, that's probably going to be what fodder does for them now for the next couple of days. I would imagine it's going to slowly rise. So there's not a whole lot going on there. And, um, you know, for the Bundesliga team of the season cards, their prices definitely did drop like i mean grimaldo he shows 1.8 on footbin he's definitely not that at the moment um if we go over to foot.gg here the prices that i've kind of been using recently what is grimaldo grimaldo's 1.7 di maria's 1.2 musiala is down vert is down kane is down most of these cards are down right now on this game all the bundesliga tots cards you know i don't think i'm gonna be trading with too many of them kind of the thing that i've been avoiding over the last couple of weeks in team of the season is trading with the friday released bundesliga or prem tots cards like last week i stopped trading trading with prem tots um on like monday didn't trade with them until like tuesday wednesday so i'm probably going to do the same thing this week and not mess with too many of these cards because i do believe that they could drop some more today uh, it just seems like especially with this team there's not that much hype for the actual bundesliga team of the seasons not as many people are hyped for them so i'm going to be very careful with those cards now one thing i will say is these cards are still extinct on the market um openda stanway all of the team of the season cards we're going on three days today three freaking days of these cards have been extinct um it's just it's 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 dumb is what it is it's so frustrating man let us use these cards ea don't like gatekeep us from using these that's one of my frust most frustrating things this year is price ranges um how fast they get updated why ea set them where they do and how again how fast they update them price ranges and the market in that way has been a big problem this year one of the biggest problems um it's been a bigger problem this year than it ever has been before and they're still not updating those i think they will get updated at some point just a matter of when and hopefully it's not too much longer because a lot of us would like to try those cards 
and buy them off the market and actually get a, a chance to use them. So that's the one thing I wanted to mention. Now, making coins wise, I'm really starting to look more at the out of packs cards, right? I know we have Todd's Premier League. These prices have been all over the place. Some of them are down now from where they were. Like Foden is 2 mil. Cole Palmer is 1.03. That's very low for him. Garnacho is 277. That's very low for him. I will say the lower tier, some of these lower tier cards like um, like Ben White, he was 57K. If you take a look at the last week, um, on Thursday, Friday, he was like 50 to 60,000 coins. And this lower tier stuff, the stuff that is the most meta, is actually starting to move a little bit. I think McAllister at 90K too is up. Let's take a look at his graph. Yeah, since Friday, he's gone from 58K all the way to 90,000 coins. And I think that that stuff could continue to rise during the week this week because we are once again getting a whole new wave of new users on Ultimate Team tomorrow on Tuesday as this game gets released on PlayStation Plus for free for everybody to play. And I think it's going to impact the middle to lower tier, those cheaper cards that people log on to the game and try to get their hands on for the first time. So I would watch specifically out of packs cards from TOTS Live, TOTS Mixed, and TOTS Premier League. I know a lot of hype right now on the TOTS Mixed was with like Dest and with Honchko. I think some of those guys are down out of packs. Maybe you watch those cards, right? And same thing with the Premier League cards. Keep an eye on, on the Ben White, um, on some of those. I know they've already been inflated in price and they're already up, so be very careful with that. But that is kind of something that I could see moving on the market in the next couple of days. Those most recent promo cards that have been dropped that are lower budget as people get on the game, want to go buy some cards. That could be something that you invest in and try to watch out for. Other market things to watch out for is um, League One has been leaked as the next league of team of the season guys um it was leaked yesterday i know we kind of uh, brought up the question yesterday is what is it league one is it la liga this was just posted yesterday by romania he said the next tots is league one not la liga so that is a leak he has some information that he knows with this leak killing mbappe has gotten destroyed he was 12 million coins of course this has people that own this card wanting to sell to get ready for a team of the season mbappe but on the flip side like we saw last week, Bundesliga cards that were very good for the cup exploded, like to the moon exploded, right? I think there's a very good opportunity that for this week of League One, some of those cards are going to go up again for people building teams for the cup. Again, guys, I stress it, it's for the cup, so maximum 90 rated cards go through look and see if you have a good enough team and that you're content with using for a max 90 rated squad in the cup and if not what i would tell you to do is maybe you go start to look around and actually buy some players to fill out that squad a guy like this jonathan david is selling at 55,000 coins now people are starting to invest in this card as he's one of the best budget cheap strikers you could use in a league one cup team he was like 40 Two, uh, not 42. I think it was like 40, yeah, 45,000 coins yesterday. Saturday, he was down at like 45K as well. And his price is starting to go up as people are starting to invest off of this league. I think there's still investments that could be made. I don't think player prices are going to like double or triple. I could see like maybe this Usman Dembele. He's pretty rare, right? Usman Dembele is one of the biggest names in League One. He's 220K. If I saw this at 200,000 coins or maybe even 205 or 210, I would buy it, throw it on my transfer list maybe use the card in the cup and then watch his price rise up as the cup comes out later on this week probably thursday maybe friday as well you'll see those prices go up as people log on to get those cup games played and to get that objective completed this is kind of like an early shout i guess and an early uh recommendation to be doing a little bit of research and finding out what cards you maybe need or what cards you think maybe go up the most for this next week of league one because that has been confirmed as the next league of team of the season so i wanted to bring that up because that is coming now also let's talk about today monday let's wind this thing down what are we getting today monday on this game well mondays we know we're getting player picks we've had the 81 plus pick for the last week what do we know about the normal schedule it's probably the 80 plus player pick that is returning today and with the 80 plus player pick we usually get the 83 plus I really would like the 85 plus. That was better, right? Last week we had 81 and 85. 
And I think two weeks ago we had 80 and 83. I'm really hoping we get 80 and 85 today, but it could be the 80 plus and the 83 plus. So that is one thing to watch out for. Again, the 80 plus just requires a couple less rares. If they were just to refresh this 81 plus instead, that would be great. And we would like that because I think the 81 pluses are better than the 80 pluses but that one extra rating does seem to make a big difference. So I do think we also get a player SBC today. Is it a women's tots though? We had Chloe Kelly last Monday. Could we get a Bundesliga or a Fraun Bundesliga player today from the women's side of things? Maybe we're still getting a lot of icons and heroes. We're up to one every single day with Mateus Lam and now Raul. Are we going to get a hero player SBC today related to the Bundesliga? Maybe it's Lucio, maybe it's Colaire, who knows, right? There could be something along those lines coming today as well as UEFA marquee matchups. Probably going to refresh today too as guess what? We have more Champions League coming tomorrow and on Wednesday and then big games on Thursday as well for, uh, I believe, Europa and Conference League. So, especially for the Champions League, there's going to be another pack released today, another SBC set. That'll bring some tradable supply. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's all that I would be expecting today. I don't think that today can be as big of a day as yesterday was because yesterday was just absolutely massive it's going to be a good day today to grind through the menus catch up on any foot champs games that you maybe need to do like i have not played any games of finals yet i need to fix up and absolutely do that and uh, we'll probably try to make some good coins here today because you know we spent seven hundred and twenty-five thousand coins on a pack in the store and we're going to spend more coins getting some packs ready to go today for the stream Upgrade packs, ready to grind, ready to craft, and try our best to pack this stupidly overpriced, but also insane looking Harry Kane card. I need this card, man. If I can't pack him, I'm going to have to buy him and try him, but I want to pack him, right? That would be the way to do it. We're going to do our best to try to pack some Bundesliga cards on the stream this week. The Todd's counter is at 70. Can we get it to 85? Can we get it to 90? The pack weight seems to be down, but let's see if we can just uh, beat the odds this week with the upgrade packs and grind on the menu. So we're going to be doing that, and today's going to be a big day, a part of that. If you want to watch us do that and do it with us, drop down below in the comments, or not the comments, the description, and click the Twitch link. We'll be live there today, grinding, trying to pack blues, and having fun in this game, and playing some champs as well, grinding a bit in that regard as well. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below who you're doing in this Evo. I love seeing you guys' Evos when you tweet them to me. Send them to me on like PS messages and stuff. I've been getting a lot of messages like pictures and stuff of Evos that you guys have been doing, some cracked cards and all of that. So drop the, like this rudder card, 92 pace, 95 shooting. I mean, that's pretty sick, right? Means something to him. Five star, five star as well, he says. Send me those messages. Send me those tweets. I love seeing who you guys can Evo and what stuff you have in your club as well. If you're new, subscribe to the channel and have have a good holiday if it's a bank holiday for you. I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan Cameron. Catch you guys there. Peace.